We look forward to it all year, the warm days of soaking up summer sun and jumping in the lake. But for some people, time spent in the lake leads to time spent in the clinic, dealing with pain or itching from two common conditions. The first is swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear is um, an infection in the outer uh, canal. Um, it is usually caused by water that's uh, trapped for a lengthy period of time in the ear canal. Janelle Chose is a certified nurse practitioner at Essentia Health in Fargo. She says stagnant water in the ear canal is a good bacteria breeding ground for this common ailment. It causes a lot of pain. There can be drainage, swelling, muffling. It can affect the hearing. You can have fever. Um, and it usually will send you to the the clinic because of the amount of discomfort. Cho says you can prevent swimmer's ear from happening by wearing earplugs in the water and making sure to dry your ears really well with a towel or hair dryer. If water is still trapped after these things, try a mixture of white vinegar and rubbing alcohol in the ear. If none of that works, your doctor can prescribe antibiotic eardrops. Second common lake-related condition is swimmer's itch, an allergic reaction to microscopic parasites that burrow deep into your skin. They do not thrive on the human body, so they die off very quickly but they will cause this rash that is very itchy. Um, it's kind of a purpley pink rash and it can get blistery. One worry with swimmer's itch is skin damage and the potential for developing a secondary infection when scratching creates an open wound. To prevent this, Cho suggests using a topical anti-itch cream or oral antihistamine to cope with the uncomfortable itching and to prevent the extensive scratching. With this Essential Health Medical Insight, I'm Tracy Briggs.